all right we are back with the let's go tutorial hopefully you picked up your app so you can get started on this it's really simple uh you know you can use these tutorials as a training but it's also training in there that i forgot to show you so i will be covering that here in a second but uh i am going to cover whatever the next step is i think i'm gonna stay on this page because i'm there and it's some things for me to fill out and play with so i'm gonna go ahead and do that but um let's go ahead and get started all right so i'm still on the same screen where i left off i got a meeting soon so i better hurry up <laughs> so i'm still on the same screen where i left off uh at the top on your um profile picture you'll be able to go to the training feature okay once you click on training this should be this should have been like on the first video that i uh <clears throat> shot okay once you click on training you get all the different types of uh trainings we have for you in there now this may change you might get some added for the most part i don't really foresee them deleting anything but uh this may be added to towards to uh as we go on with time right so um, one of the things a lot of people want to know is how do i get the app on my phone okay so um you definitely should uh have gotten that information via email but basically this is the video um right now we have some other trainings in there how to invite your family or friends we went through that creating your vision board we're going to go through that using the goal setting feature inside of let's go we just did that but just watch all this anyway in case i miss something you know what i mean <laughs> so and y'all mean means do you know what i mean for those of y'all who don't know what it means so <laughs> that just sounds crazy so let's keep going so how to supercharge your journaling with voice dictation this was a training done by one of the co-founders paul hutchings and the art of exceptional reading which is a really good training that i definitely uh think you should tap into so that's that and uh, can i go back or did oh, open up a new tab so how do i close this let's just close that all right so <clears throat> now i'm still on this page let me click off of that and i have today like what are we going to do today wednesday january 24th um i have no task planned for today looks like it's going to be an easy day for me today <laughs> but um you can plan your day you can take notes okay you can write these notes down or type them rather <laughs> don't write on your screen y'all and uh let's see so today's task i want to go ahead and I think I want to, I think I want to, do I want to click this or this? I think I want to click one of these. And in here, you can enter a task. Now the MVP um, task is your most important things you want to get done that day. The health, work, relationship, ideas, and delegation is all separated in different colors. Um, then you can choose to repeat it. So it's pretty simple. Um, but let's just say today's task is to upload. Oops videos let's just say that and let's just say i want to do that every day i can save it all right and boom up and i and i didn't choose what i wanted it to be at but as you can see it came under the most valuable priorities tab and i'm glad that uh what it stood for came up because i was about to say the most viable player before this <laughs> but um basically i'm gonna hit plus one more time so you can see that you can choose the different things okay so um, if i wanted that to go under work i could put that there um let's just say um i wanted to call clients and i could hit uh, repeat daily or not repeat daily and save now one other thing you can do for this i noticed some people were like well i want it to be um i want to work on a task maybe three times a week right not every day uh what i would suggest is uh hitting the plus and then basically say um say you uh, just say do we have personal work health relationships ideas delegation hmm well we could call this work <laughs> we could call this work and let's just say I want to wash clothes. You know, maybe I'm using this for my own home stuff, right? 
And I do that every, uh, let's just say, uh, Saturday. And let's just say I wash again on Wednesday, right? Um, probably make that shorter. So you could do it like that. And you can, uh, you can add it to repeat daily. It'll show up on your list, but you'll at least have the notes of when you're, you're going to do that, if that makes sense. Um, so for instance, if you're checking it off your list and it's a Friday, you know, you don't have to do it. You can just check it off your list for that day. Okay. Then it drops down here on your completed items. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. It was something else I wanted to show you. So you got that for the MVP. That's the stuff you want to get done today, no matter what. Probably the first things that you want to knock off your list. You got your health goals, uh, work, relationship, ideas, and delegation. So let's uh, do a, a relationship. And basically, ultimately, these are people that you want to contact each, uh, every day you want to contact maybe one person to keep that relationship going with that person, um, to make sure you don't forget the most valuable things in life, which are, are people, right? So let's just say I want to contact my sister, Kim. I can go ahead and, um, create a relationship goal. Um, I don't want to contact her every day. <laughs> um, but I want to make that uh, you know, on my list. Now, one thing I noticed for me is I rather just put a whole bunch of people on my list right then and there. And I just make sure I contact one person from that list that day. If that makes sense. Instead of just deciding that day, you know, I could put all 29 of my siblings on here and I'll be good until I finish them. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have 29 siblings. So, um, that is today. That is the task. So, uh, let me make sure I don't forget anything else. Oh, so if you don't, cause I had some tasks lingering around, if like, say for instance, this is daily, it, it repeats daily. Um, it doesn't keep coming out unless you check it. Okay. So you got to, uh, click, you know, you have to click it and then tomorrow it'll come out. But if you don't click it, it won't come out, which is one of the reasons why I can get away with adding a whole bunch of people here. Uh, cause the list will stay the same until I click check somebody off. Okay. And let me make sure I didn't forget anything else. The delegation one, I'm just going to do a test. I'm just assuming you're delegating a task. I just want to make sure it doesn't look different. Okay. So it doesn't look different, no different options or anything like that. So that's that, you know, they're color coded. You could just come out and check off the things as you get it done. And this helps extremely well with consistency. Okay. Now it's some things that's important, like persistence, discipline, consistency. Um, I think if you focus on your main goal to be to open up this app, okay, and you take your time to set up your list of things to do and put them on repeat, your consistency will definitely go up like crazy. So you definitely want to do that. And, um, it, you know, you'll notice a big difference in your results. So definitely grab this app if you haven't gotten it yet. Hopefully this helps with you understanding the task that you'll be able to uh, tap into once you get started. And just this, just the initial phase, the initial setup, aside from you, from you coming up with other things later on, this is like a one-step setup. So um, this is all I have, and I'll see you on the top. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>